What is up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Samori, back at it again with another episode of Nation News. And on today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the big O's coming over here to Las Vegas, Kennedy Polamalu. Not only that, five potential defensive free agents that the Raiders could possibly bring in. And last but not least, a potential trade package that could possibly send our quarterback, Derek Carr, to the Pittsburgh Steelers and whether or not I would take this offer or not. All of that on this episode of Nation News. If this is the very first time you're coming across my channel and you love the Las Vegas Raiders, then hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this one. With that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's get started with the video. And you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. According to Tom Pelissero, as of yesterday, the Raiders have hired the Big Goose Kennedy Polamalu as the new running backs coach. Polamalu spent the past five seasons with the Vikings where he was a well-regarded coach. Now, I know what y'all might be thinking right now, and yes, Kennedy is the uncle of Steelers Hall of Fame safety Troy Polamalu. Troy even had some nice things to say about his uncle in his Hall of Fame speech. My uncle Kennedy instilled in me, who's a current running backs coach for the Minnesota Vikings, he instilled in me an authentic respect and passion for the game. His intensity has inspired not just me, but countless athletes to revere and love the game at all costs. Uncle, you're a true coach, not just in sport, but in life. Before then, Polamalu spent some time in the college ranks coaching for San Diego State, USC, and UCLA. Then went on to the NFL to coach for the Cleveland Browns and the Jacksonville Jaguars before landing in Minnesota. In his time with the Vikings, his rushing attack was considered the best in either yards, yards per carry, and touchdowns with guys like Latavius Murray and Dalvin Cook leading the pack. The past three seasons, Dalvin Cook has been able to carry the load and rush over a thousand yards in each season. Kennedy is another well-respected coach in the NFL, which means this is another dub to the Raiders coaching staff, especially with the talent that we have in this backfield already with Kenny and Drake and Josh Jacobs, man. I'm excited to see what we can do in the backfield this upcoming season. Like I said before, man, I'm excited about the coaching staff we are putting together here in Las Vegas. So I got to give a huge shout out, huge kudos to our coach, Josh McDaniels and GM Dave Ziegler. So with that being said, Raider Nation, what are your thoughts on the Raiders hiring new running backs coach, Kennedy Polamalu? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, I did come across a article that I read on Silver and Black Pride on the potential defensive free agent fits for the Raiders. Now, with a new defensive coordinator in Patrick Graham, according to this article, we could possibly see Graham bring some familiar faces here to the Silver and Black, saying, there are some defensive free agents from the Giants this offseason. The Raiders may be looking for several defensive tackles as their top four players at the position are free agents, and they will be looking for players who fit Graham's system. Now, two names that stand out at the defensive tackle position that Graham could possibly bring over here to the Silver and Black are both defensive tackle Austin Johnson and defensive tackle Danny Shelton. Johnson is coming off of his best season where he started all 17 games for the Giants and 2021, tallying 72 total tackles, six tackles for loss, one fumble recovery, and three and a half sacks. Johnson would come at a price in free agency, but it could be worth it. He was a solid player for the Giants defensive line last year in Dalvin Tomlin's absence. Knowing his age, only 27 years old, and his connection to Patrick Graham, this could be a solid underrated pickup in free agency. Danny Shelton, on the other hand, was a rotational piece on the Giants defensive line, playing in only 13 games last season, totaling 31 tackles, one tackle for loss, and one quarterback hit. Shelton would be more of an affordable option for the Raiders if Graham wanted to go in that direction. Uh, again, these are just two options that the Raiders could possibly bring in to fill in the void at the defensive tackle position. Now, the article also brought up two other names that we could possibly bring in to add to the linebacker room, those guys being linebacker Lorenzo Carter and linebacker Reggie Ragland. Both, I would say, would possibly be solid options. I wouldn't say that they would be the main guys for the linebacker position, but they would definitely be much cheaper options than Nick Wachowski and Corey Littleton, who I believe might not be on the team come this next season. Carter is coming off of an injury in 2020, but bounced back last season. Though the first half of his season was underwhelming, he found a way to bounce back at the end of the season, tallying a total of 50 tackles, six tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, and five sacks. And with those numbers and seeing how well he started to play at the end of last season, he's definitely a guy that has a lot of potential if we were to sign him and add him to this linebacker core. Now, on the other hand, we have linebacker Reggie Ragland, former second round pick for the Buffalo Bills. 
Bruce. He came to New York to provide depth in Patrick Graham's defense, also known as a run stopper. He never really was good against the pass. In 2021, he had a combined 67 tackles, two tackles for loss, one quarterback hit, and one fumble recovery. Now, out of all the players that I just named off to you guys, Reggie Ragland would definitely be my least favorite option here to bring to Las Vegas. But we're not done yet because they brought up a huge name that we could possibly add to the secondary that obviously has history with Patrick Graham and that is safety Jabril Peppers. Definitely a solid talent that could play alongside of Trayvon Merrick and the secondary. In his three year career in New York, he's tallied 196 total tackles, three and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, one interception and one touchdown. The biggest knock though for Peppers has been his ability to stay on the field missing a total of 17 games in his three years. In that case, he could possibly come in as a bargain. If Graham is somehow able to bring in Jabril Peppers for a good price, then hey, I'm all for it. Now, what would that mean for Jonathan Abram? I'm not sure yet, but I know for a fact that Patrick Graham would put Abram in the best position to go out there and succeed, especially if we were to bring Jabril Peppers over here to the Silver and Black. So with that being said, Raider Nation, what are your thoughts on these potential players that we could bring in to help out this defense? You know, former players that played under Patrick Graham, and what are your thoughts on possibly bringing in a big name like Jabril Peppers to help out in the secondary and possibly take over Jonathan Abram's role? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, because to me, if the price is right, I don't mind bringing and peppers to Las Vegas. Now, last up, I do want to talk about this trade package that could possibly send Derek Carr to Pittsburgh. And I know you guys are tired and tired of hearing about Derek Carr possibly being traded away because you guys don't think he's going to get traded. And honestly, I don't think he's going to get traded. I told you guys many times before uh, with this new regime, I don't see Derek Carr being traded away. But I do believe if there was a time to trade him away, now is that time. But this trade package comes from the latest mock draft scenario from PFF where the Raiders would send Derek Carr to the Pittsburgh Steelers in return. The Raiders will get a 20 22 first round pick and third round pick from the Steelers and next year's first round pick. And the biggest question is, would I take that package from the Pittsburgh Steelers? I would quickly say no, I would not take this trade because the Steelers only have two picks ahead of us, the 20th overall pick. So that would mean we would have two late first round picks this year. And then you think about next year's first round pick, Derek Carr going to the Steelers, definitely going to take that team to the next level. And most likely that would be a late round pick as well. So I would not take the chance at trading away Derek Carr to a team like that if I was then i want to get a top 10 pick in return this year and next year the only way i would accept this offer is if they were to package in minkai fitzpatrick or tj white which honestly we already know that's never gonna happen so i would pass on this trade offer but i wanted to bring this up to you guys so i can ask you guys raider nation would you guys want to trade Derek carr away for two first round picks from the steelers and one third round pick let me know your thoughts down in the comments below all right raider nation that is all i have for you guys today on this episode of nation news if you guys enjoyed it then hit that like button if this is the very first time you're coming across my channel and you love the las vegas raiders then hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when i upload more videos just like this with that being said until the next video this is your boy small raider and your boy is yeah started off in oakland now we here now we here thought that we was done we just hit another gear look started off in oakland now we here now we here hey pull up with the nation in the silver black gear look four games straight we in the playoffs shout out to the chargers fans y'all enjoy the layoff